Welcome to this tutorial for Into the Radius VR. First thing we're going to talk about is the base, and then in the second part, we'll go out into the radius, which leads out that way. Here is the base. It's basically your entire base. Um, your individual container is right there. Um, but one thing you can do in this game is it's a persistent world. So if I set this piece of paper here, uh, it's going to stay there for the rest of the time that you're playing. Really cool stuff. So you could save all your th items that you find out in the radius out there in here. You could store it in any manner you want, which I think is actually one of the coolest parts to this game. However, I like to actually keep everything in my own little personal room in here. And here's your personal room. This is where you start your missions. If you hit this and you select it, start it, there you go, you have a mission. And actually here is sort of the mini map. Uh, you can pull this up by the way. We'll pull that, when we go onto the radius, I'll show you how to use that mini map to show you how to complete the mission. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> First thing though we're gonna talk about is organization, very important. I like to use this area right in here. So on the right, I like to keep my health. Uh, these are sort of first aid, emergency first aid things. If you jam yourself in the hand, it will heal up the top part, which is your health, that red. Very important to keep an eye on that. Also keep an eye on the time, by the way. Uh, you want to be out in the radius during the middle of the day. You certainly don't want to be out at night. Keep an, uh, so, you know, right now it's 2 o'clock. If it was 7 o'clock, you want to come back here into the base and sleep. And we'll talk about sleeping in a second. Uh, the bottom part is your stamina. And if that starts to drop, you need to consume food, which I keep right here. Cigarettes also help. Um, I keep that here. This area I like to keep uh, for my weapons. So I store any extra weapons I have down here. You can see I got a knife, a grenade. I store my ammo here. And this is sort of cleaning supplies. Um, this is for miscellaneous. I like to keep these sensor packs, which I keep on my side wrist, as you can see right here. Um, we'll talk about sensors when we get out in the radius. Very important. And then I sort of keep this as um, some of the weapons that I'm about to take out into the radius. I sort of keep this... Uh, this shelf right here. When I go out, I load all the weapons up, make sure they're clean. Very important, by the way, to keep your weapons clean. Yes, this is a dirty weapon. This is a clean weapon. Obviously, this will might miss fire. You want to keep your weapons clean. That's a very important point. We'll talk about how to clean weapons in a, in a minute. So <clears throat> one thing I want to talk about, though, is how to load weapons. Um, if you have, uh, it's, it's pretty much the same uh, for whatever system you're on, Oculus, or you're using the Vive, whatever you're using. So on your uh, controller, the bottom button, in this case for the Oculus, will be X. You hit that, it will eject the magazine. You can pick up the magazine and put it back in. In order to cock it, you take your left hand, hold the top trigger, pull it back. Now it's cocked. Uh, for the safety on, you hit the top button. I think that's the B. That's safety on. That's safety off. Keep the safety off. I don't think you need to keep it on. This isn't the real world yet, at least. Um, but make sure you keep the safety off so you can fire it. In this case, I don't think I have any bullets. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any bullets in this magazine. Um, but anyways, I think I say, let's see, I think I have some in this one. Yes, I do. So remember that safety, very important. You certainly don't want to be firing at mobs. In this case, they are monsters. In this world, they call them entities with, uh, with this safety. I've done it a couple times, and, and trust me, the result is not good. All right, so that's the pistol. Uh, the shotgun, kind of the same thing. You hit the B button or the top button on your controller. and I'm sorry, it's the bottom button. Hit the bottom button, and it'll open it up. You can take shotgun shells and put them in there. Um, if you can load it twice, we're not going to hit it again. Uh, the bottom button, in this case, I think it's the X. It will load it. That's ready to go. You can also store shotgun shells on the side. I recommend you do that. Okay. Now, also find packets of these particular uh, the ammo that you need. Now, there's different types of packets, different types of ammo. This isn't the only. The FMJ, the 9mm, is for the pistol. Most pistols, a couple of pistols use the FMJ rounds. Uh, which is the nine millimeter. Um, you also have the buckshot, which is for, of course, the shotguns. Now, what I want to say is this is important. Um, this is an empty, well, let's empty the magazine. You just hit the top trigger, it'll empty it out. You can pick up this 
FMJ uh, and start loading it. You just get it close to it. It will automatically start loading it for you and boom. Then what I do is take that before I go on a mission. I don't know if you can see this and I load it into my pouch. One of these top pouches right here. You want to keep those ready to go. If you can see the green, if it highlights the green, you can put it in there. You want to have as many of those as possible. Important to keep your cartridges uh, fully loaded cartridges ready to go in case you have to empty a magazine out of your pistol. Uh, I also want to point out that let's, let's expend all this. So let's just get rid of all the bullets. Don't throw these away because guess what? When you, if you find individual bullets out in the radius and you will, you can load, this actually acts as a storage unit. See that? I'm loading that up. Look how nice that is. You can put that. I keep this usually in the pouch down here. Let's get rid of the flashlight. Um, I keep that usually uh, a pouch, you know, a, a packet ready to go, so I can just load individual rounds, and you'll find them relatively easy to do. Same thing with the buckshot. I'll keep that as well here. Those are usually the three items I keep, as well as a sensor for artifacts. We'll talk about that when we get out in the radius. So that's kind of what I do. Then I also keep the shotgun on the chest, as well as a knife on the chest, and then pistol always on the side. Let's actually load up. You can also load these in. I believe you can. Yes, if I can get them in there. Yeah, you can actually just load them into the cartridge itself, bullet by bullet, which we're doing here. I think it's full. Looks like it's pretty good. Whoops. I drop a lot of things in this game. Oh, my gosh. You will drop things, by the way. It's like a, a given. I don't think I'm putting this in right. Or is it already loaded? Oh, it was loaded. Okay, that's why. Makes sense. All right, let's cock it. Safety on, and then I put it on the holster. You're good to go. Uh, now, let's. so we've got sort of the guns, how you load them. Pretty much the same for all of them. You'll, you'll figure it out. Now, what I like to do, let's get rid of these. Um, well, I'm going to show you those in a minute, actually, how to repair items. But um, what, I, uh, what you can do is store the shotgun on the side of the backpack. Uh, if you reach uh, behind your shoulder, that will get the backpack. If I walk away, it disappears. And if you reach behind, you'll pull it out. Now, how do you know if you can store something? Well, if I put this shotgun, see how it's going green? That means it's going to take it. Uh, let's try to store this candy bar in there. No, it's not turning green, but it's turning green on the backpack. I can store it. Might sound stupid, but important to know. Also, keep an eye on the weight. If it's green, that means you're good to go. You can sprint, whatever. If that gets orange, you're going to be uh, walking real slow. That might be a problem if you're out in the radius. So just keep in mind, uh, keep an eye on the weight. It's not the end all, but you want to sort of eyeball that. Okay, so let's put this gun back in here because I want to show that in a little bit. Okay, so we've got the backpack down. We've talked about storing items. Now, important to th uh, think about what, very important to plan when you go out in the radius. You don't want to just take this candy bar. I would generally take a lot more, uh, probably a can. Definitely take plenty of food. You may need to restore your uh, stamina. I usually also even take a backup knife. I don't have one in there right now. I always take a backup flashlight. I even take backup sensors in case I, I've lost this before. So good to take those. Always take a minimum of two syringes, healing syringes. Very important because this is what you need out in the wild. You get hurt, you may need, I'd say minimum two. Sometimes I take three. So just make sure you've got supplies, food, um, extra ammo, whatever you think you need, put it in there. Don't be cheap. Okay. Now let's talk about repairing. Um, first thing we're going to do, there's a way just to repair it with a WD-40. You'll get one of the default. Let's put that. I usually just repair over here. Uh, and you need a toothbrush. So uh, I can spray it on there. Then I could take the toothbrush and look at that. Looking better. Already, take a look at that. And now this gun is good to go. That's one way to clean it. Uh, let's take that gun. Let's take this. And let's take one of these. I want a rusty magazine here. Do I have one? Yes, right here. This is a magazine. So that's important. I want to tell you, magazines also wear down. Okay, so let's go to the second most important room here, or maybe even the most important, the supply room. I just call it the supply room. Very important. So let's go over here. Now, want to point out the shower is a way to heal yourself. If you don't have any syringes, 
uh, or well, let me put it this way. It's a lot cheaper to heal up in here than it is to use one of these syringes, which you had to buy over here for 350. So generally think of the syringes as you're out in the field, you need emergency healing. That's what you use them for. If you're here, use the shower to heal up. Much cheaper as you can see. Okay, so that's the shower. Let's go to the left. Let's talk about over here. When you complete a mission, you're gonna have an item. You're gonna hit delivery. It's gonna open up this thing. We don't have anything right now, so we're gonna go back. You would put it in there, deliver it, and your quest would be completed. You'll get a higher security level and money. Second thing on the left is repair. Hit that. Let's open the backpack up. This is another way you can repair the gun. Throw it in there. Keep these cartridges healed up, very important, or they will not operate after a while. You certainly don't want to be out there firing rounds and they're not working. It even tells you it's 40% degrade, 60% degraded effectively. This is 50, the magazine's 50% degraded. This is 60% degraded, the, the weapon. Tell you how much to do it. You hit apply. It'll take a few seconds. It's well worth it though. I like how they let you mass sort of repair these things. Open this up. Oops, still going, sorry. And boom, look at that. Look how nice these things look. Look at that, perfect condition. Take a look at the gun, perfect condition. Just like new. Okay, so that's this side. Now over here, maybe the most important part in here. You have two things, you can sell your items and you can buy items, as you can see. Let's first sell. I sell a lot of flashlights. I usually only keep two. Um, here's a fragment. You get a lot for those, by the way. Uh, let's sell the gun. I wouldn't normally do that, but let's let's sell these. Okay, so we dump it all in there, and it'll tell you what you're gonna get. 298, you hit sell. It'll confirm it, and then it's gone. The store now owns it, and there you go. Now, you can also buy things. Uh, let's buy a flare. Come over here, hit buy, hit buy, and now you've got yourself a flare. Let's fire it off just for the heck of it. Okay, so there you go. That's, by the way, you use these if you're out in the night, middle of the night, uh, you need light. They're good to have if you're gonna go on a nighttime mission. Um, all right, so that's how this works. Um, and let's talk about one more thing while we're at the base, and then we're gonna go into the radius, and I'm gonna show you some things there. Well, that flare is still going. Okay. Sleeping, very important. Um, especially if you, you got two reasons. Why, one, it's late and you want to sleep. The other is you have, they've introduced something called the tide. What it is, it'll start collapsing on you if you're out there long enough. And if you get run into it, it's going to like throw you right onto the edge of the map. And who knows? And that could be a problem. Let's say you're low on health or something or stamina. You don't have supplies. That could get you killed. So you want you, you. This also gives you the opportunity right here to sleep out the tide. You generally don't want to go out into the tide when it collapses. You'll see it. You'll know it. Uh, what it does, by the way, is it respawns everything. That's what it does. So generally, what I like to do is come. You certainly don't want to set a nighttime or a dusk or even noon. I like to set the morning, and I let to, like to set it up to 10 a.m. That's when I like to wake up. So you hit sleep. <sighs> There you, you can see. Now, important to check. Look how low the stamina is. When you wake up, you're hungry. Make sure that does not drop. If that drops down to no, zero blue there, you will start to lose health and very fast. So get over here. Start to consume your supplies. We worked hard for it. Earn it. See how fast we can go through food, by the way. This is important to know. You can go through fat food really fast in this game. Keep an eye and see how high that gets. We're still not all the way up. Take a monster. Okay, you know, that's pretty good. All right, so that is how the base works. I think that's a, a good start. Now we're going to talk about, now we're going to go out into the radius. And you go out into the radius, by the way, by going out this door. And you got another door. And then you follow these. And you're out there. So we're going to go out there um, right now. Okay, we are out in the radius. Now, first about is 
I just dropped my ammo. I don't care though. This is a tutorial after all. We won't need it. But first thing I want to talk about is this sensor. I forget, it's like AG something. I forget the name of it. Um, very important. You use this primarily to find artifacts. Now, I don't have an artifact around me, but I'm going to tell you how it works. Let's say there's an artifact right here. If I was walking away from it, this light would turn blue. What does that mean? That means you're moving away from it. But if you start to get close to an artifact and you're moving toward it, this will start to blink green. When it becomes a solid green, you know you're right at it. You can hit this, you pick it up, you go back and sell them. That's the primary use and you get a lot of money. So that's how you use that. Another important thing, I just dropped it. Did I drop it? No. Dropping things here. Okay. Also important, having some lag here or something. Okay, um, another important thing is the sensors, this little pouch. You just hit the top trigger and you throw them. And what this does is it will show you where the anomalies are. In fact, when I'm walking around out here, I usually use this thing to show me where the anomalies are. You wanna to toss these things. If, it, it, if, you're, if you're not engaged in a fight, you should be tossing these, especially when you see anomalies. Now, there's an anomaly right there. You can see like the little vapor, that's how you see them. They disappear, but the important point here is that doesn't mean they're not moving. So that's why it's important to throw this. And look, it just exposed it. See how I'm exposing this? That's what these sensors do. It's really easy to drop them, as you see. But this will expose, they will eventually um, manifest themselves, but this definitely shows where they're at. You can keep throwing it, and you won't run into them. If you run into it, uh, it's going to do some damage to you. It might even teleport you so usually i throw these things around uh just to see if there's anything you know, just to see where the anomalies are very important very easy i usually store them on the side of my wrist like that good to go all right next thing we're going to talk about is the entities which are the monsters we're going to start to look for some of them. first thing i want to find is this thing. do i the sounds in this game are incredible, by the way. It's one of the creepiest games. Um, but what I want to show you first... Okay, take a look. There he is. A spawn. This is the hardest. Out in the open, these guys are hard to deal with. Key to this, move side to side. Never, ever move. Look, you move side to side, they will not hit you. Oh, and always keep looking at them. Missed again. He's getting mad now. He might get me this time. Sometimes they will get you. It's not a perfect system. But if you move towards them or away from them, they will get you. Just here to let you know that. He missed me again. Now, once they, once you dodge them, you can see how he stops for a few seconds. They are vulnerable. So I can now shoot him. And he is dead. So that's how you do that. Very, very important. Side to side. Remember, never move towards or away from. Always keep them in sight, move side to side, and you can dodge them. I wish I would have known that when I was first fighting them. Here, so that's called the spawn. This one is called the fragment. Easiest to deal with, uh, but the key is not to waste too much ammo. And what I like to do, you want to point, there's another spawn. Now, if you, okay, I'm glad this is happening. You have a spawn coming at you, you need to take care of the spawn first. Yeah, uh, he didn't die. Let's see if we can just stab it. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so let's re let's put our weapon down. Let's put this in. Safety off, okay. Now, key to these guys is you wanna shoot in the center. Then they will uh, spawn this core. You need to kill the core with the knife. If you do not get rid of the core, he will respawn. Very important to remember that. You want to use the knife for the core. Don't expend any more bullets. So that's how you take out the fragments. So those are the two main monsters. There's, I think there's six or seven, I'm sorry, entities that you will face. Um, there's ones that shoot bullets. They're called mimics. And you'll, I'll, you'll, I'll just let you figure out how to deal with them. But basically, you want to kill them with a gun as fast as possible. Take, if you see a mimic, you got to get rid of them quick because they are actually firing bullets at you. There's one other type um, of a fragment that's called a phantom. These kind of freaked me out in the beginning, but they're, they're just like a fragment that we just killed, except they're invisible, but you can still kind of see them. The main thing is you can hear them. 
So they're really not hard to deal with. You just shoot them. You kill them kind of the same way you do a fragment. So they're not too hard to deal with. They used to um, kind of freak me out a little bit, but they're actually not hard to deal with. Um, they will come from a larger, uh, farther distance. So important. Now, one more thing I want to make before we go. Don't care about that knife right now. If um, later on when you become, I think it's level three, you want to put a suppressor on your pistol. Sound uh, has become more important in this game. If you fire shots, it's going to attract more enemies. If you have a suppressor, they're not going to hear you. You'll be much more stealthy. Stealth, important in this game, especially when you get up to the harder missions. You want to be as stealthy as possible. Put suppressors on any weapon that you can because you sure don't want to get in a situation, and I've, I've been in it, where you attract a lot of entities. You will not like that. That will not end up well. If you ever do get in a situation where you feel like you're outgunned simply turn and run don't worry about it get out of there worry about your stamina that's why you want to keep your stamina high so you can bolt if you think they're going to get you best thing to do is run uh, you know what i want to show you where did that knife go i just dropped it did i bring another where is it well i guess i'll just talk about this you can also throw the knife if you're out of ammo and you've got nothing going, oh, there we go. Here we go. You can actually throw it, and I missed. <laughs> that's part of the problem. Um, and that's why it's not a really great solution. Let's see if we can hit him again. Yeah, you can see I just hit him, take it back, destroy the core. So you can actually just throw the knife, too, at the fragments, and that's it's not ideal, because it's kind of hard to aim it, but you can certainly do it. Okay, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching.